Welcome to another edition of Stogie Palace. I am your host, Chris. Today we have a Hoya de Nicaragua Antaño 1970. Sorry for the background noise you'll hear lots of apparently tonight <laughs> out here on the Stogie porch. Mm, nice cocoa, chocolatey, sweet flavor. Nice, musty tobacco smell. It's a good looking cigar too. Been looking forward to this one. Hopefully it lives up to my expectations. So this is a five and a half by 50 Robusto, rated at full strength. Had this for a little over two months. Somebody outside doing a remote control car, which is loud. Dog's not liking it, barking. This, uh, I got it for $4.20 on Cigar Bid. The wrapper is Criollo, made in Nicaragua. Reminds me of something else. I'm sure I'll, hopefully I'll remember what that was. Mmm. Nice aroma. Uh, let's see. Cigars International has to say about this cigar. Uh, in the 1970s, this brand was considered the finest not only in Nicaragua, but the entire world. It was actually created in Nicaragua's first cigar factory found in 1964. Smoked by U.S. presidents, renowned for its rich and full flavor, but decades of war and communist rule in Nicaragua destroyed the brand and decimated the factory, and most of the rest of the country for that matter. I talked about that in one of my videos. Well, the country has been on the rise again, and fittingly so is the brand. This new Hoya de Nicaragua Antaño 1970 was created to celebrate the rich heritage and worldwide renown it enjoyed in 1970, and marks the return of those glorious days. It's well on the way, earning a terrific 91 rating Cigar Insider, a very full-bodied, robust muscle cigar. This beauty is simply delicious. Good little stubborn area right there. That should take care of that. Good smoke output, great aroma. Picking up a little different flavor there. Trying to figure out what that is. Hmm. Very good start. Let's keep on going. About 20 minutes into this Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio 1970. Um, the wrapper. I'll have to check and see, but to me, I was thinking it had a flavor I couldn't quite place, but I think I have, oddly enough, another Hoya de Nicaragua, the red, which I did not rate very highly, mainly because of the flavor. Um, the construction on both of these are good, though. The construction of this one's really good. Uh, but I was hoping for more out of flavor and wrapper on this one, but I don't know. It's reminded me of that Hoya red. There's that something about the, the middle and the finish it's a different flavor for sure. I can't figure out what it is. Somebody better than me can, probably can, but there's... I have to, I'll have to look up and see what I wrote for the flavor or what others have, but there's something about it that I don't care for. Um, can't complain about the construction though. It's really good. Smoke output is, is good. The draw is still a little snug. I hope that opens up a little bit here. And I got my pretty typical, pretty good V cut going there. So that's not a problem. I don't know. To look into this a little bit more and see if there's any change, but wrapper's not gonna change flavor, more than likely. All right, well, let's keep going, see if anything changes.
about 40 minutes in on this Antonio 1970. <clears throat> so the wrapper is a Criollo, so it's not the same as a Habano and the Hoya Red, but it reminds me of it. <clears throat> it might be the cedar. Um, I've seen, I looked at a couple different reviews, which it gets very good reviews, um, and it mentioned the woodiness, and that might be what it is, but it's not quite. I mean, I don't mind wood. I like it, but in a cigar. And, um, but there's just something about the flavor that it's just not doing it for me. Burn line has been perfect. Draw is, is average to slightly better than average. Could be a little better. <clears throat> um, smoke output is good. Waft. It's a little harder outside to get it. It's it's not bad. It's better than the, the flavor I'm getting. I've done a retro yet. This is, some sites call this strong. Some call it medium to full. Decent retro, but it's it's a, it's a combination of cedar and leather. I think it's the leather maybe that's turning me off. I don't know. So far, I can't really say that I would buy more. Not with some of the cigars I've smoked recently that are are just better. I can't I can't blame the construction though. It's very good construction. Nice looking band. Nice looking cigar. Holding together good cut there. It's a hard one to pin down. It's sort of that that aftertaste of like barrel aged that 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 you get in whiskey sometimes, but I like that. This I don't like as much. Let's keep going. It's not terrible. It's it's not bad. I won't say that, but I mean it's just different people like different flavors. This flavor, it's the second Hoya de Nicaragua in a row that didn't the flavor didn't do it for me. So let's keep on going. Almost an hour in, I'm gonna call it quits. Not because of the cigar, but because every bug in the neighborhood has decided to come to the Stogie porch. This isn't keeping them away. My bug light's not keeping them away. Sprayed and decimated about half of them. <laughs> but the middle and this final third got a little better in the flavor department, but still got that oaky cedar leather combination that I'm not really thinking I'm liking very much. Uh, looking at my previous scores, this one I'm gonna score now as a uh, 92. Uh, what helps it is the, sorry, there's bugs everywhere. The good construction, the good burn line, uh, draw is average to better than average like it was in the beginning. A little work to get that, but decent amount of smoke output. Um, Getting a little peppery here again towards the end. The downsides, obviously, for me, and it's subjective. You may not you may not agree, is the flavor was not the strong point. I'll have to try another Criollo and see if it's the Criollo I'm not caring for. Still a very good cigar, just wouldn't be in my top tier. But um, once again, this has been the Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio 1970 in Robusto. I'm Chris at Stogie Palace, Stogie Porch, Bug Palace. <clears throat> I'll talk to you later. Just a quick little follow up here, getting away from the bugs. This cigar is almost out, hour and 15 minutes in. Last third was an improvement. <clears throat> Sticking with my score, uh, just learned a lesson about lights and bugs and anyway. Thanks for watching again. Just wanted to end it on a more positive note than how the video ended, only because I was in a rush with the bugs. But last third, improving a little bit. So, still would I get more? Mm, not sure. Anyway, see you guys later.